North Carolina, we have many, many acres of prime farmland that's associated with our coastal zone, which is an area that's most impacted by sea level rise. Projections are by 2050, probably about a foot of relative sea level rise, and by 2100, um, three feet of relative sea level rise. And the major problem that we're having in this state is most of our agricultural coastal lands are three to five feet above sea level. And so you can imagine how much uh, three feet of sea level rise is going to have impacts on, on these really agriculturally productive areas of the state. The overarching goal of this research is to get into agricultural systems, look at salinization and how that's affecting farmers' profits as far as productivity, and then also our environmental benefits of carbon sequestration and how that's changing over time. So we have a bunch of different methods that we're going to be testing out. So rapid methodologies for assessing salinization include things like geophysical tools where you can essentially don't even have to look at the soil. You can take instrumentation and basically drag it over to the ground and get information about electrical conductivity. So we're testing these technologies for future use in rapid mobilization in areas that are undergoing salinization from things like hurricanes. So in the next year, we're looking to establish all of our plots and start our initial mapping of salt in the soils and then tying that to basically our soil properties, how much clay is there, organic matter, and seeing if there's relationships between the soil properties and the ability of that soil to hold on to salts. And on top of the mapping, we're going to start doing intensive laboratory studies. So taking soil from the field, bringing it to the laboratory and doing manipulations. So not waiting around for a hurricane, we're going to essentially um, create our own hurricane here in the, in the lab and um, flood these soils with different levels of salt and see how they respond uh, microbially, plant production, uh, greenhouse gas production, all kinds of different metrics that we can look at in a controlled environment. From this type of research, we'll be able to get the mechanisms that are occurring as far as soil salinization affecting crop yield and then come up with suggestions of management. Some of these farmers have crop yield losses that are measured in millions of dollars per year. Um, these are very large farm systems and they're losing a lot of productivity on, on land that they've farmed traditionally for over 50 years. And a lot of these farms have been in those um, same families for generations. So they really know what their yield should be and when they're declining. The farmers in the region that we're looking at, which is the Tidewater region, uh, specifically in Hyde County, North Carolina, have desperate need for this type of information.